Yeah, well, this is where everyone is trying to get to, to get out, and it's really, really difficult to get here. Uh, they come through and uh, they have to show their paperwork. It looks fairly chaotic, it is fairly chaotic, but they've at least restored some order. Basically, the various nationalities who arrive here say which country they're from, and if there's various translators, there's Turkish soldiers here, there's American soldiers, British, of course, Spanish, they then try to speak to the nationals, check out their paperwork, and if it works out, they'll let them through. What's really interesting is this was absolute chaos until they got this uh, barricade in place. And what's really peculiar about this is, is just how near uh, the Taliban are. In fact, the British soldiers have gone slightly forward. I think they're negotiating uh, with the Taliban now. Um, in fact, though, they are speaking to the commanders. I can see them. Um, there have been huge, huge crowds here. The Taliban has sort of brought some control. But you can probably see in the distance they're standing on their trucks and uh, they're firing into the air. Uh, now there must be another uh, push of people coming through. And uh, yeah, you can hear it. For a lot of these British soldiers, of course, a lot of the American soldiers as well, they've been fighting Taliban, not for 20 years. These guys are way too young. But uh, this is a remarkable thing that the, the only way that any type of calm has been restored here is because uh, the British and the Taliban are actually coordinating uh, this operation. Uh, and the real big question is how long is it going to go on for? How many people are they going to process? We're already seeing people being rejected and it's heartbreaking stuff and there's children crying and going out. It's, it's a pretty, pretty intense time.